Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday and welcome to another Mask Monday. Today we are going to be doing a facial mask review of the Derma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask. And you're getting a little bit of a bonus today because I'm also going to give you my thoughts on the Purifying Daily Detox Scrub. So in full disclosure, I do get random PR packages from Derma E and these two products were in the last PR package that they sent out to me so I did not pay for these items but all opinions are still my own. I really happen to like Derma E as a drugstore skincare line. Most everything that I have tried from them has been really high quality, really effective skincare that seems to work really well for my skin type. So um, this charcoal purifying mask is fantastic because I personally have extremely oily skin and I like to use masks like this to be able to um, remove a little bit of excess oil, but I'm very careful with one, how often I use them, and two, how long I leave them on my skin. Um, usually with a charcoal or clay-based mask, I try not to leave them on for more than five minutes, only because I find when I leave them on for an extended period of time, a little bit too much oil gets removed, and my skin wants to go in that oil, um, oil production over load mode again and it can actually make my skin oilier so that is a tip for you guys if you have very oily skin try not to dry your face out because it's gonna be counterproductive in the long run your skin is gonna think that it is drying up and it's gonna produce more oil to hydrate your skin so you're just gonna get shinier um, really the best thing to do is to use a mask like this once a week leave it on for about five minutes even if it's not completely dry all over your face wash it off and then use a really good moisturizer whether it's like a cream or a lotion format a hyaluronic acid or even a facial oil just put some moisture back into your skin immediately so that your skin is not thinking that it has to like produce a bunch of oil to hydrate this whole area again so um little tip for you guys with oily skin that being said this is probably not a mask that i would recommend for anyone who has dry or even sensitive skin this does have some little um exfoliants in here so little like feel like little charcoal pieces um, and when you are applying the mask and when you are removing it you can definitely feel like a slight granular feel um, they're not crazy abrasive um, I haven't had any irritation but I am also someone who does not mind a little bit of physical or manual exfoliation. Um, I do use both chemical and physical exfoliants. My skin is fine with that, but if you know that your skin gets irritated by any type of um, like scrub or friction or anything like that, don't use a product like this. Um, as far as the price point, um, this is right around $20. You can find Derma E at Walgreens, uh, Target, you can find them at Ulta. When I purchase anything from Derma E, I obviously like to get it from Ulta because I like the points. Um, I do find the price point to be right in line with pretty much every other drugstore skincare brand at this point. Um, the Derma E line is um, vegan, they are cruelty free, so a great alternative to brands like Neutrogena or Oil of Olay. So if you're looking for something new to try from a cruelty free brand, I would really check out Derma E. They have way more products than just these two that I'm showing you guys today. So, but anyway, as far as the mask goes, I've been using this once a week. Um, I spread it all over my face because this whole situation here is oily. What I find is that it sucks out just enough oil to keep my skin a lot more matte over the next couple of days. Um, the rest of the week, I am using much more hydrating masks. So either the Pharmacy Honey Potion, I love to use that one. Also, I'm using AHA um, 
type masks like the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask or the Herbivore Blue Tansy. So I'm using other masks like that during other points of the week, but this is the one time a week where I use a mask that specifically is meant to remove a little bit of excess oil. I find that once a week is plenty. And then again, I make sure that I moisturize really well afterwards. I find that my skin feels very soft after removing this. It doesn't feel overly tight or dry. I think if I left the mask on for any more than five minutes, which by the way, they actually tell you to leave it on for five minutes or until mask is dry. I would say don't necessarily leave it on until the mask is dry. Um, leave it on for right around five minutes. I think that's really the best policy there. And then, um, you know, wash it off. I do find that the little exfoliants in there do kind of tend to help with any dead skin cells that might be clinging on. They just kind of wash away. I use a makeup eraser to remove masks from my face and um, that's very gentle and my skin feels very smooth afterwards, very soft. I put on my moisturizer and I'm usually good to go. I find that for the next couple days my skin is a little bit less oily. I find that it just feels a little bit more balanced. So. I really like this mask. Um, I would definitely recommend giving it a go if you are combination oily or very oily. Um, normal skin, I mean, I, you could probably try it, but charcoal masks like this really are meant to absorb excess oil. Um, if you're dry, I would not recommend a mask like this. I would look for hydrating masks, obviously. Um, but you know, now that we're in the summer months, a good charcoal based mask can go a long way in helping to absorb a little bit of excess oil and just kind of refreshing your skin. So there's that. And then let's talk about the purifying daily detox scrub. So I have used this on my face a couple times, but I found that I don't find that it does a ton for my face in terms of additional exfoliation. What I actually like to use this for is on my neck and my decollete. So I will use kind of a generous um, like dollop and I just wanna show you guys the consistency here. There are some granules in here. They don't feel super abrasive and they're not crazy abundant. Um, but what I like to do with this is again, clean my neck and my chest area. I find that this amount of um, granulation like that they have in here is perfect and it's a little bit more gentle for that area. So I really like that. Um, I'm trying to, yeah, they're apricot seeds. So the little like, the little granules that you're feeling are apricot seeds. Um, there are no fake um, exfoliate or plastic exfoliators in here. I know that's kind of the big thing right now is that you know companies are actually trying to get away from those plastic beads, um, which I think is wonderful. In terms of the scent, it almost has a slight minty fragrance to it. Um, what would that come from? There's also charcoal powder in here, so that's um, another of the little like granular type texture that you're feeling there. There are, there's no added fragrance in here, so I think it's just the different ingredients that you're getting that slightly, oh, menthol, okay, yeah, that's it. It's It's got some menthol in here. If you are sensitive to menthol, I probably wouldn't use this. It could probably irritate your skin. I have not had a reaction to it, but do know that. This does not really have a scent. Yeah, this this mask smells like nothing, by the way. Um, it's just like a typical like charcoal color. Um, you can feel the little granulars in here. Um, yeah, it just, it's it smells like clay. <laughs> so no fragrance in this one, but there is some menthol in this one. So be careful if you, know that you have a sensitivity to anything like that. And I just made a mess in front of me. <laughs> but anyway, I, I like this product. It is not one that I will repurchase in the future. I think it's nice to use, but it's not a standout product for me at all. There are other scrubs that I like better. If I'm going to use a scrub like this, um, I would actually prefer to spend a little bit more and get the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. That is really 
my favorite type of facial exfoliator to use. That is more of a chemical exfoliant, although I do think there are some little granular type pieces in there as well. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good product. I'm glad they sent it along to be able to try, but it's not something that I will personally repurchase in the future. So um, yeah, let me know if you have tried either of these two products. Let me know what your favorite Derma E products are. Um, I would have to say, uh, what is the other Derma E? I actually have a backup of it. What is it called? The um, micro, what is it called? Now I can't remember. Microdermabrasion. The Microdermabrasion Exfoliant is my favorite one from Derma E. Um, so if I were to recommend like a physical or exfoliator for the face, neck, decollete area, I would actually point you in that direction. The only thing is that it comes in a glass jar, which is a little bit inconvenient for the shower, but I will link that one down below. I will also link both of these products. And again, let me know what your favorite Derma E products are down below. And um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.